when should you start paying yourself when you run an Amazon online arbitrage business or any other business that requires a lot of capital that is really capital incentive because you know it when you run an online arbitrage business when you run an inventory based business what's going to hold you back is cash and if you withdraw cash from the company you know your company is not going to grow as fast as you know it, it should be growing right so when should you actually start paying yourself pulling some profit to put in your own pocket before i answer these questions we have a discord server link in the description best place to actually ask me any questions you may have regarding amazon regarding um you know regarding sell on amazon regarding whatever you want and it's also a great place to actually meet sellers meet people that have the same interest as you and you know i met a, a few new friends over there so yeah definitely join the discord link in the description so when should you actually start paying yourself here's my answer as fast as you can you should try to pay yourself as fast as you can and i know what i'm saying right now is not the most common view but i'm going to explain and it may not mean what you think it means right so what i'm trying to say when i'm saying that you should actually start paying yourself as fast as possible is this you should try you should actually you know fight this is the right word you should fight to build your business like to make your business be able to support yourself to support the um, to support the labor you put into your business right and same thing if you if you are renting um you know if you are using part of your house to store inventory to work and stuff you know if if you run a real business like you have some overhead and if you have someone like if you have to rent a space if you have to rent if you have to you know um hire somebody to do the work you do you know it costs money and like you want to set the, the 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 foundation right as fast as possible and make it so you know your business is able to grow because if you do not pay yourself if you never pay yourself um it's you know you you're really not setting up the best foundation because it's gonna make it you know you are gonna take bad habits and especially if it's your first business but i know what i'm saying is tricky and you, you like you could pull too much money but you really need to figure out like you need really need to know your numbers right and this is why what i'm saying when i'm saying that you should do it as fast as possible i'm actually saying that you should make it so your business is able to support whatever you're doing so because if it's not able to like if you put 100 dollars a week and it's not returning you any money and you're using half your house to be act to actually be able to 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 make that money you are actually losing money your business is losing money because this is not something that's replicatable you cannot replicate this right so you may think that you make money but like it is you'll just pay it less than minimum wage basically your business is your business is not successful right if you take five hours to find a lead like just think about it if you had to hire someone in the philippines five hours three dollars an hour is going to cost you fifteen dollars right and if at the end of the like if if with if the lead you find is not going to return you fifteen dollars a month you, you're losing money if your lead is trash you're losing money right so you should try to 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 to, to be like because having that building that infrastructure will help you grow because you're going to be able to you know as as the business grow to hire people because this is duplicate like it's replicable this this is the main thing and not paying yourself like you it does not mean that you should pay yourself twenty thousand dollars every month that you should withdraw all the profits right all the money from the company but you should try as fast as possible to make your business like be able to pay you if you work like if you work 40 hours a week 80 hours a week 2000 a month 3000 uh, 3000 a month 4000 a month depending at least minimum wage or it does not make sense it does not make sense if you this is you set the foundation at the beginning and at the beginning what you need to do is really try to set those foundation of course at the beginning at the at the early uh, in the early early days it's not going to be the case it's just not going to be the case you're going to work a lot of hours it's going to suck you're not going to find lead because you have no idea how to do this you have no idea how to do that and you need to improve to be able to replace yourself but you first need to be really good at what you do and this is why as well you do not like it's you should not try to outsource thing at the beginning because you suck yourself 
you suck yourself. It may be your first business, your second business. You've maybe never had a successful business, but you need to pay yourself as fast as possible. You need to be able to pay yourself as fast as possible to be able to grow. All right. If you cannot pay yourself, the business does not make sense. And of course, it's always better to leave the money inside the company and stuff. But like, you need to try to be able to replace yourself. And because by doing this, if you can pay yourself, you know that you can inject way more money into the company, right? If you have a twenty thousand dollar loan that comes in, you know you can use that money. You know where it's gonna where it's gonna bring you, right? You need to know exactly where you're going. You need to know your numbers and you need to understand if it makes sense or if it does not make sense. If it does not make sense, you need to fix some stuff inside your business. You need to become better at sourcing. You need to be, you need to, to, to become better. Like you just need to fix those things that are not working, right? This is what I'm what I think about this subject. I read a new video about Amazon every single day at 3 p.m. So um subscribe like this video if it was helpful if i actually answered the question that you were wondering about and i'll see you tomorrow because i release a new video every single day at 3 p.m watch those other videos on the screen thank you for watching